imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both... Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. This is the first video that I'm filming from my new home. How do you like it? I like it very much. I will put up a moving vlog very soon so that you can see everything, so stay tuned for that. But today I am going to tell you everything you need to know about Procreate. Before we start, I just want to mention that this video is from an illustrator's point of view, so um, I may not answer all of your questions, but if you have any additional questions, please uh, ask them in the comments and I will do my very best to answer them. So I have been using Procreate for about a year now and I have been loving it and I will tell you all about it in this video. And since I started using it, I got so many questions about uh, the iPad Pro I am using uh, about Procreate itself, so I thought it would be nice to just make a video about all of these questions and answer them for you. So I wanted to start with this one because this is a very important one and I hope I can keep it short because I could ramble on for hours about this subject. <laughs> so the question is, what's the difference between Illustrator, Photoshop and Procreate? Okay, so first of all, all of these can be used to make illustrations and I have used all of them to make illustrations. But the difference is that in Illustrator, you work with vector files. And a vector file is a file that uh, you can use at any size. So this can be very useful for making logos, for example, because if you make a logo, it's very important that you can use it at any size so that you can make uh, tiny business cards, for example. Why am I doing this? <laughs> a business card is about this size, but it's also very important that you can reuse that logo to make a banner of two meters by two meters, for example. So you have to stretch it out. And with vector files you can, because they don't use pixels. And I bet you all uh, know what pixels are, because uh, that's the thing that Photoshop uses. So that's the main difference between Illustrator and Photoshop. When it comes to illustration, you can use both programs, but it just depends on which style you like more. If you like very crisp and very graphic illustrations, I recommend you use Illustrator, but if you like using textures and brushes and everything, uh, Photoshop is your way to go. And then we have Procreate. Um, the main difference between Illustrator, Photoshop and Procreate... Pro <laughs> I have trouble pronouncing Procreate, my god, I'm sorry. But the main difference is that obviously Procreate is used on your iPad Pro. And as far as I am concerned, you can only use it on the iPad and not on other tablets, but don't quote me on that. So uh, Procreate is an app and uh, Illustrator and Photoshop are both software programs and you can use them on your laptop or your computer. Um, you can also download them on your iPad, but they are not the same as uh, the desktop version. So yeah. A difference between Photoshop and Procreate is that Procreate is entirely built to draw things or make notes on and Photoshop can also be used to edit pictures and you can edit pictures on this one but I wouldn't recommend it because the options are very limited. Um, I use Procreate uh, mainly to make my illustrations on and uh, yeah. Something that's important to know and another big difference between Procreate and Photoshop is that in Procreate you can only use the RGB color profile. Um, as you may know, there are two color profiles uh, called RGB, which is used for screens uh, like your laptop or TV or anything digital and CMYK is used for printing. And CMYK sadly isn't available uh, on Procreate, so you can't make anything in CMYK. And that's a very big reason that I still use Photoshop, because if I make an illustration that needs to be printed, like uh, for example the cover of Maya magazine, which I made, which I'm so happy with, um, you need to make it in CMYK, because those are the colors that uh, printers use. So if I make that illustration on my iPad, I make sure to export it to Photoshop and convert the color profile over there. And that's just a thing you can't do on your iPad. 
So that's good to know. So those are the main differences between Illustrator, Photoshop and Procreate. Uh, I hope I covered all important things. I bet I didn't, but I could make a video just on this question. <laughs> so I am moving along to the next one, which is by far the most asked question about Procreate uh, I have gotten. And that is, what are your favorite brushes in Procreate? Okay, so I am very basic in this and I love to use the 6B one for pretty much everything. And that's pretty bad because there are so many amazing brushes out there, uh, but I just keep grabbing this one. The other one that I really like is the HB pencil and they can both be found in the sketching uh, section of the brush library. Another one that I really like uh, if I have to fill in big surfaces with color is the chill brush. And that one can be found in the calligraphy section. And uh, like I said, I use this if I have to fill in big surfaces but it's also very nice in itself and you can create great textures with this one this question goes very nicely with the next question which is have you downloaded any brushes from other websites and used them well uh, no <laughs> but I really want to get into that because there are so many custom brushes made by people out there on the internet and um, I really want to download them so if you have any tips for me Please let them know down below. I really like pencil type uh, brushes, but I'm looking for more, uh, I don't know, like bigger chalky brushes. So if you have any tips, let me know and I will download them because uh, I haven't gotten around to it and it's very lame because, well, I only use one brush. <laughs> Another question that I got a lot, uh, not only from people on Instagram, but also in real life, is, is it a big step to go from Photoshop to Procreate? And well, uh, I guess it is and it isn't at the same time. So I have been using Photoshop uh, since I was 11 years old, uh, which is extremely long because I'm 25 now. Oh my God, I'm 25. So going from Photoshop to Procreate was a big step for me. And at first when I got the iPad, I thought it would be nice to just make some sketches or uh, just work on the go and later on finish the illustrations in Photoshop. But um, that's not what I ended up using Procreate for because uh, I make all of my illustrations in Procreate now. I can recommend everyone who makes illustrations uh, to buy an iPad Pro, especially if you make digital illustrations because, oh my gosh, this thing has literally <laughs> changed my life. Don't get me wrong, I still use Photoshop, but this thing is so nice to take uh, with you on the go. Uh, I can work literally from everywhere right now um, because at first it was kind of a hassle to take my laptop and take my tablet and just lay it all out and uh, make sure I had enough room. And now I can just put this on the table and draw. And that's such a big plus. I was very impressed with the brush quality. Uh, I was a little bit concerned that it was very limited, but like I said, I only use one brush and I'm fine with it. <laughs> um, you can be so much more precise and you can turn around your canvas uh, if you want to. Uh, it's just like you're drawing more organically, uh, like on a paper, but more advanced than that, <laughs> so it's best of both worlds. So to answer your question, um, going from Photoshop to Procreate wasn't that big of a deal, but it also was. Let's put it this way, it was a very big change, but it was for the better. And I still use Photoshop, but only to clean things up and to put it in the right canvas and to just straighten everything out and to export it to PDF or anything else because I like that in Photoshop you have a bit more control uh, over exporting your files um, so yeah the next question is what canvas size do you use for your illustrations and this always depends on what I am making but I have a tip from me to you I always use a canvas size that's twice as big as what it actually needs to be so for example I make uh, family portraits and pet portraits uh, in my webshop 
if you don't know uh, you can order one for yourself and i offer these on the size a4 which is uh known all over the world, so that's very convenient. But besides that, it's also a size that works great on my iPad. To be sure that everything will be uh, as crisp and as nice of a quality as it can be, I make my canvas size twice the size of an A4. I don't know the exact sizes out of the top of my head, but I bet you know what I mean. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, the weather is so bad. And I basically do this with everything. And um, this way your image will always be at the best quality. So if you make anything appropriate and you want to be sure of the quality, make it twice as big. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> and the last question is, what kind of iPad do you have and was it worth it? So I am using the 10.5 inch iPad and I have, I think, 64 gigabytes of storage <laughs> am i saying this correctly yeah but anyway i have the smallest ipad pro that came out in 2017 i believe and was it worth it well yes it was uh, like i said this thing has changed my life as an illustrator i really use it every day it uh, is so handy and the size is amazing um, the reason that i chose this smaller size is because I don't like working on very big surfaces and this one is very easy to take with you. You can just draw at any time anywhere and um, yeah I think that will round up my video very nicely. It's becoming very dark outside oh my gosh and my battery is flashing so that means <laughs> that this is the end of the video. Hello? Okay I cranked up the ISO a little bit because it was getting way too dark. But I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any additional questions, like I said, please leave them down below because I will uh, try to answer them. And um, yeah, please like this video if you liked it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel because I would love to have you here. And for now, I will hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.